Well, I guess you figured out by now that I'm not Danny Davis. <laughs> Hi, uh, hello, my name is Kent Richmond. I'm a longtime board member of the Jazz Institute of Chicago. Lou Kreinberg was a long-term member of the Jazz Institute of Chicago. When he joined the board, he was reunited with a high school classmate, Charlie Weeks. Charlie was the Jazz Institute president during the inception of the Chicago Jazz Festival. And Charlie confided in to me that Lou's nickname in high school was Beaky. <laughs> Lou was uh, a generous co-host for the Chicago Jazz Festival Programming Committee, meeting in his home along with his wife, Penny Tyler, for, for many years. One of my more vivid memories of Lou was when he was hawking Jazz Institute t-shirts at the Chicago Jazz Festival Midway with the skill of a Maxwell Street Barker. Of course, Lou was an avid Packer fan, and I'll never forget the stream of profanities that he belted out when Brett Favre was replaced by Aaron Rodgers as a Packers quarterback. I'll miss my sessions with Lou, hosting a few drinks, listening to some jazz, and, and uh, Lou expounding on the, how the power of B runs the city that works. And I also have a few remarks from our Heather Ireland Robinson, who is the executive director of the Jazz Institute of Chicago. On behalf of the board, staff, and most importantly, the students and young musicians of the Jazz Institute of Chicago, we say thank you, Lou. His role on the board, vision and service, with then state senator and current congressman Chui Garcia, educator, activist, and author Timiel Black, and political strategist Don Rose, all of whom worked together in the civil rights movement, le uh, led to discussions with local teachers and band members that resulted in the formation of the Jazz Express, which is now called the Jazz Institute's Jazz Links Education Programs. This vision and programming live on today in our Jazz Master's Residency Program, in the, in the Chicago Public Schools. Jazz Links Student Council, monthly jam sessions at the Jazz Showcase and more. These programs serve several hundreds of students each year and have impacted Chicago's jazz scene and thousands of young musicians through the decades. Mr. Kreinberg was a strong advocate for the broader access to quality services and free programming and the GIC, GIC keeps that alive today. Lou, along with his wife and Jazz Institute co-founder, Penny Tyler, had an immeasurable impact on the foundation and arc of the Jazz Institute and the world of jazz as we are all better for it. And at this time, I'd like to acknowledge our Jazz Links kids, Sonia Rogers Kaufman on guitar, Kamari Hall on bass, and Makari Ramsey on drums. Please give him a warm round of applause.